Hey YouTube, it's Brooke. It's been a long time since I've been on here. I have been packing and moving and <laughs> embracing this wild journey. And today I was driving through my hometown and really wanted to to stop. I was really guided to stop here beside of um, Davy Crockett's grandparents. Um, their their tomb, their their headstone, and really just tap into the energy of what's happening around us. Okay, and the reason why it was so important for me to stop here. Um, was because in 1777 um, they were killed by the Indians so when we look at everything that's going on when we take a step back and we really see the big picture you know this this place this location um, had a lot of the founding fathers here they stayed here they were from here um, many presidents so there's a lot of history here but the history that we always forget is the Indians you know they were here first and you know my grandparents have been showing up a lot especially my grandmothers um, in this process of packing and getting ready to leave. And they've been showing up a lot in David, the Leo King, in his readings, which is kind of trippy. Um, for whatever reason, they're showing up in his readings to get me here. This is where I need to be. This is where I need to be grounding in peace. This is where I need to be grounding in hope. This is where I need to be grounding in faith because there is so much history here in this land, on this land. Um, it's a beautiful day to drive the mountains. It's a beautiful day to feel the sunshine and it's almost like for a moment time pauses and it's a pretty good feeling to really just be able to slow down um, We're really being pushed, we're really being encouraged to figure out what our ancestors are telling us. We're really being encouraged to understand the messages. And it takes me back to uh, being in Utah for the Gemini New Moon. And on my way there, you know, I, I see the Cardinal Stadium and the billboard right behind it. The phone number is 222-2222. And my grandmother, Dorothy, growing up, she um, loved baseball, loved it, okay? She would watch three different games well, she'd watch one different game, listen to two different games, and keep the stats of all three while she was <laughs> watching. And I would literally go, how is she keeping up with all this? How does she even know? But she did it, loved it. And the Cardinals was her favorite <laughs> team. And her name is Dorothy. <laughs> you know, no wonder. The Wizard of Oz has been showing up. Follow the Yellow Brick Road. Um, I have kind of had to to take a step back from 
uh, being so plugged in to social media because synchronicities um, were happening, kind of like my trip to um, Utah. <laughs> okay. Synchronicities were happening that were just too much for me to be able to process and understand. So I was listening to, to Deep Love Astrology this week on Tuesday um, and decided to make Dorothy's <laughs> banana bread. <laughs> and as I'm listening to it, um, David starts talking about bananas and I'm like, what the? Okay, this is creepy. And then I look at the timestamps in Aquarius. My grandmother, this is the Aquarius. It was 122, her birthday. <laughs> so, you know, my ancestors, my my guides, my grandparents have been so loud, so loud. And, you know, it David is the messenger to be able to allow those synchronicities to happen, which is pretty cool, okay? Because they're leading me here to this point. And, you know, I, I don't think anything more of it than that because in all honesty, like, the man shares the same birthday as my mother. I've said this numerous times. I don't even know that I, like watching the astrology, letting him be a messenger, like that's fantastic. Anything more than that? Yeah, no, uh -uh. I don't think so. <laughs> Just saying, but anyway, 717 on my clock. Listen to what your ancestors are telling you. Listen to the people that are showing up. Listen to the guidance and allow it to lead you to where you're at. Um, sometimes we get confused in thinking that the messenger is the one that we're meant to be with, and that's not necessarily the case. Um, you know? So, Really, the best advice that I can give you guys with this ascension is figure out how the messages are coming in. Start piecing those messages together. Your guides are leading you in a certain direction. Follow it. Okay? I love you guys. I gotta get back to moving. Bye.